Yes, regular ads are bulky and slow. The average mobile ad comes in at a hefty 816K, which will take four seconds to load on a decent 3G connection. Contrast that to the less than one second it takes to load an AMP page. But more problematic is that the average mobile page makes 107 uncoordinated ad server requests. So the challenge remains. No matter how good we make the content experience on the web, the web will remain broken until we fix the very foundation that digital advertising is built on. And that's what we set out to do with AMP for Ads. Like the AMP project itself, AMP for Ads is an open source initiative to make ads as fast and engaging and secure as AMP pages. AMP ads address not just how ads are built, but also how they're delivered and how they're measured. First, the new framework decouples the ad server request from ad rendering. This allows the ad request to happen in parallel to rendering of the content and therefore allow the ads to appear much quicker, more quickly. Second, by constructing AMP creatives in AMP HTML, ads benefit from a more streamlined, standardized framework for coding and rendering ads. By addressing redundant JavaScript code, AMP both improves performance and protects against practices that compromise user security. Last but not least, AMP ads use AMP the AMP analytics mechanism to eliminate the redundancy of multiple tracking pixels firing all at once. As I've noted, the road to performance hell was paved with redundant tracking pixels. Instead, AMP Analytics collects all the necessary data once and distributes it to anyone authorized by the publisher to receive the information. Publisher gets the information, all the analytics providers get the information they need and are in, and, and to, to provide their services. But we don't let the user pay the price in terms of all the redundant measuring that has gone on. Just as AMP pages can be published once and be able to run in multiple environments, AMP ads will also work on non-AMP pages, making ads faster everywhere. Just think about the impact of that for a moment. Faster, better ads on every page. So beyond upgrading the web, which is the ultimate objective of AMP, AMP ads will make it possible for advertisers and creative agencies to build ad creatives once and have them run everywhere, everywhere. When ads load fast, viewability and performance metrics across the board improve. That's an attractive proposition for advertisers and publishers. And let's not forget, when we make pages yesterday fast, when we eliminate the dizzying jankiness we see on pages, when we stop giving users the sharp stick in the eye with ads like pop-ups, users might just hate on ads a little bit less. Wouldn't that be a good thing? The best part, this isn't all just talk. The AMP Ads initiative was officially announced last July. Since then, a spec for AMP Ads has been released on GitHub. There's working code out in the wild, and a working group of ad tech partners, including many in this room, have been actively integrating with AMP Ads and defining the future roadmap. In fact, I'm pleased to announce a few important announcements demonstrating the momentum we are seeing with AMP ads today. The first is that native advertising platform Triple Lift now supports and delivers AMP ads. And they're seeing some pretty incredible results serving AMP native ads to Time Inc. properties. Let's take a look at how noticeable the difference is when ads load as fast as the content. In case you missed it, here, let's take a look at it again. Considerably faster, considerably more productive, considerably better results. The results from the early tests are powerful. AMP ads delivered by Triple Lift are 3x lighter, not surprising, and load six times faster than their traditional counterparts. The ads also saw a strong uplift in viewability and corresponding improvement in CTRs and eCPMs. 
Amp ads are fast because the ads themselves are lighter. They're also smarter because the ad requests are better coordinated with other elements of the page to ensure better overall page performance. Just-in-time acquisition of data, just-in-time rendering. Lastly, AMP ads must also be verified by an authorized service before being served to a page. This allows the AMP page to know that the ad is secure, that it follows the rules of the AMP framework, that it won't negatively impact the rest of the page. Which brings me to my second announcement. The AMP project is pleased to announce that the performance and security company Cloudflare is launching an AMP ad verification and optimization service starting today. Now, any ad network or publisher can serve incredibly fast ads over more secure connections. This is a true testament to the open source nature of the AMP project. The initiative is adhering to its philosophy of embracing the contributions of many to make the web experience better for all of us.